Hello and welcome to Heavy Metal Rex. My name is Wace and today I don't even know what is going on anymore because I try so hard to give Subaru the benefit of the doubt when they come up with newer WRXs and newer models these days, but it's starting to get a little difficult, even for myself to be able to look at what they come out with and, and be really excited. Although I'm gonna try my hardest, but you guys already know, I'm talking about the 2025 Subaru WRX TS. Now, this is TS stands for Tuned by STI. We've had, we've had tons of models in the past that, um, that have been tuned by STI. Uh, just looking at STI's website themselves, the very first one we got was, was back in 2005, which was a legacy TS. And they've had a few um, other cars. Here you have another legacy. Here we have another legacy. Um, I think there was whatever this is, Ex Exiga. I don't, I don't even know what that is. That is very interesting. We have an STI that's also TS. So TS is a moniker that's been used for some time for STI and for Subaru. But what doesn't make sense in this particular model is we just got the TR and now we're getting a TS, but I don't know who this is for because it shares a lot of parts with the TR. Now, when the TR first came out for the 2024, the big things that we got was the Brembos, the 19 inch wheels, the, the Recaros, the stiffened suspension and the um, adjusted uh, steering wheel, which are, these are like really big changes, but then the TS also gets the same, at least judging from what I've been able to read, the rework suspension is the TR suspension, but now it has adjustable dampers, which you can ch adjust uh, between hard and soft and medium. Um, you get Recaro seats in the front, <laughs> and it's still like a limited plus, which it's gonna have a, you know, I don't know if it has Harman Kardon, but it does come with a limited C lights in the front, and it also has the moonroof delete, but it also has 19 inch wheels and it has gold Brembos. So now I'm really confused. It's, to me, it is, it is a TR, but with adjustable dampers, which if I remember correctly, they originally said that this was something that they could only put on the GT, which is, I'm glad that they kind of walked that back, which now comparing all the other trims we have, is this fair to say that this basically is now, well, no, you can't even say it's a GT because it has Brembo. So it's not even as good as a GT or it's, it's not like a GT, but the GT is still costing 44,000. I like this, I'm trying to wrap my head around all of this. And there's just, I don't understand who is this car for? And if this was the car that was already coming out in 2025, then who was the TR for? Because now, depending on price, it may not be worth to get a TR and it may be a better buy to get a TS. Does, I mean, is that, am I wrong for that? Because if you look at the, um, the TR, it, between the TR and the TS, it is almost identical. Uh, there are some color changes that they did. Obviously the, um, they, the uh, I don't know if the trunk spoiler is like that, but the antenna and the side mirrors are uh, crystal silica black, but the rest of it is Oh, presumably whatever regular color, I guess, blue. Um, it does have like the red WX logo in the front. It has like uh, they sh this red WX logo in the back with the TS. And I, I got, I'm just having, I'm having a hard time. I and mean, I posted this on their Instagram as well. I'm having a really hard time trying to understand who they made this car for and why they made it. Why have a TR, why have a GT, but then also have a TS. Like the TR just came out this year, now a TS is coming out next year. The people that bought a TR, I wonder what, how they feel about the TS because really it, it, there's not enough of it that is different um, that makes you wanna buy one or the other. Now, the one cool thing that it does have is this right here. That is incredible. I said this when the, um, the S4 STI, STI was out in Japan, they did actually have a digital dash. And I said, man, that is a really cool dash. But is this enough to make you weren't wanting to buy a TS over a TR? Um, I've never been a huge fan of digital, digital dashes in a performance vehicle. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I think that that's just another thing that's computerized that can go wrong. And I know I have been 
generally um, more accepting of technology in newer cars, but when it comes to the dash, that's the last thing you want jacking up. And actually, I think back to how many people had issues with their infotainment systems turning off or glitching out. You don't want your dash to glitch out. And I'm sure that there are some precautions that they've made to make sure that this works okay. And it does look really cool. And I do want to point out that tiny little STI logo that's right there. Uh, this is something that um, I think the uh, the BRZ TS also had the STI logo, which I thought that was pretty funny. Um, like that's the only, in my mind, that is the only thing that differentiates in a major way between the TS and the TR because they both come with Brembo's. They both have 19 inch wheels. They both have the um, the new Yokohama. Oh no, are the, these are gonna have Yokohamas. And I think, actually, you know what? Let me go back and just verify. Uh, oh no, it, this does come with the bridge. Okay, so it does come with the same Bridgestone Potenza S007 tires as the TR. So that's the same. Uh, they both come with eyesight. So that's the same. They both will have, you know, the 11 inch uh, main infotainment system. So that's the same. Um, obviously it's a 2025 model, so it's gonna be based off the 2024, so the rear rigidity is gonna be there. The larger brake cylinder is gonna be there. Now, one thing it doesn't say here um, is, does this come with the updated uh, steering? Because they did change the steering in the, two, uh, the 2024 TR, but nowhere in here do I see that. I am, it's a weird thing for them to have the STI tuned suspension, but also not include the steering wheel change. And as you can see here, um, they talk about the, the rotors, they talk about the, the tires, they talk about the, the calipers. Um, here they talk about the drive mode select, which is a weird thing. It says it has a drive mode select, which is in the GRT or the WXGT and features the electronic clone controlled STI dampers, but it doesn't say anything about like the throttle changing versus between comfort, normal and sport, which I don't, I don't think that it will, um, but that's something we'll have to wait and see. That's less of an issue. I think usually if you buy a WRX, there's a good chance you're going to keep it in performance mode anyway. I mean, most STI people tend to do that <laughs> regardless, you know. Um, they do talk about the different body panels, certain body panels actually coming in crystal silk or black. So um, where do they say? Oh, here we go. So the foldable mirrors, roof mounted shark antenna and rear spoiler are now crystal black silica which is something that I did on my car with the, um, with the, uh, the hood scoop and the, the man, what am I thinking? This, the rear spoiler. So I, I kind of did that already, but that looks really good on white. Um, rear taillights glow with volcanic magma. I don't see any difference between that versus, oh, you know what? Is it these little lights right here? So maybe the rear might be a little bit different, but that's not enough, I don't think it's enough of a change. Uh, then they talk about that you do have obviously the 19 inch multi-spoke wheels, which actually none of the pictures actually show me what the wheels look like not moving. At least no picture that I found online actually shows me what those look like. If I had to guess, they probably are gonna look similar to the 2024 BRZ TS because these came with the 19 inch multi-spoke wheels that were gray. Gray, oh uh, yeah, well maybe not gray. It's possible that it's the same wheels because if they're putting the gold Brembos, it's probably these same gold Brembos that they're taking from the BRZ and just throwing them onto the WRX. At least that's that's what I think. Uh, it does have for weight savings, lower center of gravity, and additional headroom for helmet drivers, the power moonroof has been deleted. This is something that TR already has as well. Uh, here we talk about the, the Recaro seats, which they now both have. Um, it is a way power adjustable, which is great. See, so yeah, okay. So I don't see any mention of the steering change. So that's really the only thing that performance wise that you're getting from the TR that you won't get from the TS. Now, I don't know, man. I, I want to just say, oh, it's great. But like, I don't know why it exists. And right now, the 2024 WX TR is, how much does a TR cost? So a TR is like 40,000, 42,000, right? So a, so a TR is 41,655. Now, most people have been able to get a TR for under MSRP, which is great. And even my dealership is still selling TRs 
for under invoice actually. And if you're still looking for a TR, hit me up. We can probably get you one for really, really cheap. Definitely not 41,000. But where is this gonna slot in? Because you still have a GT at 44,000, you got the TR at 41, and it's basically a limited plus. Like it, it has more features than a limited performance wise, but it has the same features as a TR. So like if the TR and the TS end up being the same price, I don't know, man. I would have to say buy the TR. Between, if it comes with between those, it's the TS is only going to be worth it for the, excuse me, for the digital dash, and that's not enough for for me to buy it. Because when it comes to, and I said this about the TR as well, when it comes to the suspension and it comes to the wheels, most of the time people replace that anyway. The issue that you're going to have with the electronic dampers is you're not going to be able to change it to coilovers. Same issue that they have with the GT. You can get lowering springs, but you can't change the coils or you lose that adjustability. So that's another reason where it's kind of like not super worth it. I don't, I don't really know. I, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, most people will just say, just make an STI. If you're gonna go through all this rigmarole, just make an STI and give us the STI so we can have it, so we can stop having so many more trips. This is, we have five WX trips. Now we're gonna have six. And I just don't know where to even start recommending this TS. Now, of course, when my dealership will get a TS, this is going to be next year or whenever, you know, Subaru starts bringing them out for the press. I know that they said this is going to be a Wicked Big Me, which is, I think that's like in, yeah, that's June 2nd. So, so we're going to be able to see it. I'm sure if Travis is there, they're going to let him drive it and, you know, give their impressions. But if you remember my video about when the TR got revealed, I don't really know if the TS is going to elicit a better response than that. But I try to be optimistic. I just don't know if this is one of those cases where I can do that. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm pretty sure I already know because I saw the uh, Instagram post that Subaru put and it wasn't great. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative and I will see you in the next one.